Divine Comedy, part one. Let's take a walk, you said. Okay, I said. And here we are, high above the East River, on a pedestrian walkway on the Triborough Bridge, hiking from Astoria to Randall's Island as rush hour traffic streams by. I hate my life, you say, and I know you're not joking. I wonder if you're thinking of jumping and what I would do if you did. It's a long way down to the tug, pushing a barge on fiery waters as it disappears beneath the bridge. Should I grab for your arm and probably die too, or simply admit I want to live and let you fall? It's late afternoon when we finally reach our destination, descending a cement stairway that deposits us onto a parking lot near the Manhattan Psychiatric Center. Part two. We're both too tired to turn around and walk back over the bridge. This is a, a thing you can do. You can actually go to a store and walk across the bridge. I know I shouldn't interrupt this, but it was a thing from like uh, the 30s. They got this map that's etched on the bridge. We're both too tired to turn around and walk back over the bridge. The only other exit off this island is a narrow pedestrian overpass that connects it with Manhattan. But to get there, we have to cross the grounds of the mental institution. I'm blocking our way as a garden of booth. You're reporters, he shouts at us. Why don't you go another fucking expose? Oh, we protest. We just want to get back to the city so we can take a subway home. He pats us down and searches our bags and grudgingly waves us on. It's early evening now, and large, bright lights come on, illuminating everything surreally. We can clearly see inmates through plate glass windows in low, ranch-style buildings watching TV. If it weren't for the barbed wire, you'd almost think we were in suburbia. <laughs> Part three. Beyond the last building, the underbrush thickens and the asphalt path is cracked and broken. It's pitch black, a hot, humid night. Indistinct shapes dart into the bushes in front of us. I take out my Swiss army knife, all two inches of it, and flick it open, just in case. <laughs> and like that, we come upon the other guard booth, burnt out and abandoned long ago. I'm not feeling too good, but you grab my arm and motion to a string of lights rising above the trees, and I realize it's the footbridge. As we step onto it, we're almost swept away by a wave of humanity swarming from Manhattan onto Randall's Island. A never-ending procession of shopping bag ladies, sneaker kids, junkies, and soda can collectors. And we, the only two leaving, tired and relieved, and even perhaps vaguely in love with each other. Thank you. Yeah.